what are the ethical issues surrounding the opt-out system of organ donation in the UK? So an opt-out organ donation system is a system where um, everyone is presumed to kind of consent to their organs being donated after they have passed. And in order to say that you don't want your organs to be removed or donated, you have to kind of put in the process to opt out. So England moved to this process in 2017, but other countries in the UK um, did that kind of a few years before. And I think the most compelling argument in favour of this is that it will probably lead to more lives being saved if you have you know, more organs available. And also you can have like a soft opt out um, kind of system where you are presumed to be in favour of organ donation, but the family has the last say. And this has been quite successful in countries like Spain, which has one of the highest organ donation rates in the world. And also just kind of talking about the concept of beneficence, if the person who's passed away wishes are unclear or unknown, you could argue that it would be better to save another life, you know, if you don't know what the actual answer was. However, kind of concerning the ethical issues, um, I think having an opt-out system where people are not necessarily aware of, you know, the circumstances or the details could cause people to lose trust if they feel like a decision is being taken away from them. And it also conflicts with the principle of informed consent because consent can be considered like an active process that cannot be presumed. So you could argue that an opt-out choice is kind of taking that consent away. But I think as long as there's kind of ample communication about what an opt-out system is and giving people the option to make that informed consent, it will ultimately save more lives, which is the end goal. And you can also have like the family make the final decision at the end of the day. Hi, I'm Arispa, a second year medical student at King's, and I'm going to be talking to you about organ donation. So organ donation refers to the removal of an organ from one individual with the intention of transplanting it to another individual. So organ donation in the general sense normally refers to the removal of an organ from a dead patient and then transplanting it into a patient who's alive. However, there is also another concept known as living donation, which refers to the transplant of an organ from a living donor to a living recipient and this normally involves non-essential organs such as one of the two kidneys or even tissues sometimes. Now it's common knowledge that there is a vast disparity between supply and demand of organs and one of the reasons for this is that organs need to be matched between donor and recipient similar to how you match blood except a bit harder because you have to match multiple more antigens um, and this is achieved by one obviously matching the antigens between the donor and recipient and two putting the recipient on immunosuppressant drugs usually for life. Another reason that there is a very low supply of organs is that actually before the opt-out system was introduced 80% of the UK's population supported organ donation however only 38% actually opted to donate their organs and so when these individuals died their families did not know what their wishes were with regards to organ donation and ended up choosing not to donate organs. So this opt-out system now encourages families and relatives to have discussions surrounding organ donation, which is very useful and will definitely help reduce this disparity between supply and demand of organs. So what are the current regulations in the UK? In England, as of May 2020, there is an opt out system for organ donation, which means that all individuals are assumed to be okay with donating their organs once they pass away, unless they explicitly state otherwise. Um, very similar concepts also exist in Wales and Scotland. So in terms of ethics, we can look at three of the four pillars of medical ethics. The first one being autonomy. This opt-out system essentially assumes consent for individuals and assumed consent can that be seen as a violation of their autonomy? However, on the flip side, if we're looking at justice, greater good for society, as well as beneficence towards the donor, um, 
Uh, is this greater good of justice and beneficence? Does that outweigh this potential lack of autonomy? And this is essentially the ethical debate behind it. So what the government did to tackle this potential breach of autonomy, this law, Max and Kier's law as it's known, was passed in May of 2019. However, its implementation was postponed until May of 2020. And they used this year to increase knowledge and education about this opt-out system and make the public very well aware of what their options are and to make the public know how they can opt out of organ donation if those are their wishes. The law is named as such because Kira, a nine-year-old girl, um, sadly passed away after an accident and donated her heart to Max, a nine-year-old boy, and the law is named in their honour. We hope this video has been useful. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.